so this is it. I, uh, I've set out to uh, do this expedition, a year-long trip through uh, to uncover artists throughout America, Europe, and beyond. It's all my stuff that I've ever had. <laughs> and here I am, storage, getting my car packed. So uh, uh, I've spent about three months with, uh, with an extraordinary person, Alexander Biktagirov, and uh, taught me a lot of uh, how to be clean and organized. So uh, uh, applying that lesson, I'm, uh, I'm organizing myself uh, to, uh, to extract the most impact with the least amount of effort. Um, uh, I'm going to be organizing this so that it's easier for me to go from place to place every week. So the, uh, the premise of the expedition is to stay with an artist uh, for about a week and uh, kind of document their life uh, for a week and, uh, and then promote their art, get some, uh, some attention on to, uh, to local uh, independent artists uh, who are you know, otherwise uh, gone unnoticed and uh, uh, help, help them sell art, help them, uh, help them exceed and have some cash flow for them, you know? Uh, that's kind of what it's all about, right? The, uh, the, the, the economic security is, is, uh, is the least that we can provide for our artists. Um, so, uh, I just believe that we need to start paying more attention, and, and we can. Uh, we have independent photographers that are running around with cameras that are doing their crazy thing, and often uh, they're promoting things that are already being promoted by uh, mainstream media. So I just don't understand what the hoopla about. Uh, I'm all about discovering things, I'm all about showing things and helping thing, uh, people. So I think uh, the best way to do this is to point cameras to the direction of, uh, of uh, amazing artists that are, that are gone unnoticed and, and help them be discovered. Uh, so I think this is the power of the camera, power of the storytelling through uh, visual photography, videography. Uh, and I think this is the responsibility of a new age photographer in our uh, social media realm of things, you know, we're, uh, we're living in the, um, the new century, new millennia. Uh, we need to start approaching this differently. History repeats itself, so we don't have to go far to see uh, what the future might hold. And uh, we can see that throughout ages we had, uh, 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 you know, when writing to cough, writing to cough uh, during the time when Bible uh, was uh, written and rewritten thousands and thousands of times. So if we look at the mainstream media with the photography and video, uh, and video uh, they're, they're doing a lot of propaganda, really. And I think there's something, a lesson can be learned and applied to independent photographers and videographers. And we can do the same thing that they're doing on the same accord, but we can uh, do it independently. That's what the power of social media is. So. Um, in that respect, I think I've recognized that power, and I, uh, I'm, um, uh, I'm, I'm really set say, I'm, I'm setting sail to to discover its uh, its potential and discover how to organize uh, what I know and apply it in such a way that it can be helpful for for for, for other photographers to uh, to come on board later on or or apply things that I'm learning. Um, so in that respect, I think this is uh, going to be an interesting journey. I've done this before and I failed a couple of times, but I think this is really it. I've set my, uh, I've, I've set a goal, I've set my eyes sail on a particular way to achieve the goal. So I kind of have a plan. I kind of have a goal and desire to achieve it. So I think this uh, third third time is a charm, and uh, <laughs> I think I have enough what it takes. Uh, but your your support would be appreciated. Cheers.